Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here answering your questions today. Today is a recruiting question. It's about walking on in college to play college baseball. I hear this from a lot of players. Um, they want to go to a school. They're not getting recruited. And so they say, well, I'll just go walk on and try out for the team. Uh, when I get there. Uh, you can do it. Almost every team that I know of does walk-on tryouts. Typically, there's a day uh, during the fall, usually once players and students get back on campus, um, where you're going to be able to do a little walk-on tryout. They're usually not super extensive. They're usually pretty quick. Um, and depending on what school it is, sometimes there's just a handful of guys. Sometimes there's a lot of players. Uh, but if you're one of those players that is interested in walking on, what I would do is contact the coach and just ask if they have walk-on trouts. If so, when are they? And it's also good to be able to introduce yourself to the coaching staff, tell them a little bit about yourself so that when you get to the tryouts, you know, they already have some background info on you. But here's the thing with walk-on trouts, and this is the thing that most players don't really understand. It is extremely, extremely difficult to make the team as a walk-on. Okay, if you are not recruited at all. Now, there's sometimes there's players that are kind of recruited walk-ons where the coach recruits you and says, you know, I don't have any money for you, or I can't guarantee you a roster spot, but I really like you. Um, you know, if you can get into school on your own, you know, we'll give you a chance in the fall to play with us, and um, you know, that's different. Okay, that's a recruited walk-on. You you may have a chance to make the team, but if you just think that you're just gonna, you know, go to a school, get into a school on your own. And then, you know, just hopefully show up one day and say, hey, guys, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm here to play. And you're going to make the team. That's really, really tough. I haven't seen it done very often. Um, and most players, I don't think most players realize that. I think most players just think like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, I'm a good player. I can go play there. There's a couple things you got to keep in mind. First of all, if you've never been recruited by the team, right, then that's kind of probably telling you something that either they don't feel that you can play at that level or maybe they already have players in your position. Regardless, they feel that, you know, right now they don't need you. Okay, so that's one thing. The second thing is, depending on the school, if it's a school that has scholarships, well, they're recruiting guys and giving those players that they're recruiting scholarships. So when those players show up in the fall, They've been given money. So if you just show up and try to walk onto a team, you're going to have to beat a player that was given money, that was given scholarship money. That's very, very difficult to do. Or you're going to have to beat somebody out that's already on the team. So someone that's already proven good enough to be on the team already who was also probably recruited, you're going to have to beat that player out as well. So if you're looking at most teams, most teams have roster limits. Again, depending on what division they are and what college it is, most teams have roster limits. They're only allowed to carry a certain amount of players, and they're going to recruit up to that limit. And some schools recruit even more than that limit and then cut players. All right, so, I mean, that happens also. So it makes it even harder to be a player that's going to walk on to a school and then have to beat out at least one guy or maybe multiple guys that have been recruited by that team. So I just want to throw that out there for players to understand that if you're going to try to walk onto a team, you have to be absolutely okay with the fact that you may, or I shouldn't say may, you probably are not going to make the team. It's probably a 90 plus percent chance that you're not making it. Maybe in some cases, probably a 99% chance that you're not going to make that team. And you have to be okay with the fact that you will not make that team, that you probably won't, and that you might not play college baseball. And if you're okay with that, if you say, listen, I've always wanted to go to this school. This is where I want to go academically. This is where I want to get my degree. And I'm going to try out for the team. And if I make it, awesome. But if I don't make it, that's okay. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that and I'll just be a student. Then that's okay to go try out. But I've seen it happen before where guys think they're going to make it to me. Yeah, I'm going to just go walk on. I'm going to go try walk on to that team. And then they go and they don't make it. And then they're like, well, I have to transfer now because I didn't make the team. No, I don't suggest doing that at all. All right. So that's, for me, that's a no-no. 
So I just want to give a heads up to guys. I get asked a lot about uh, about walking on and the chances of it, and and like I just said, the chances are really really low. So make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into, and uh, and do your research. Talk to the coach. You can, you can easily email a coach and call a coach and talk to them about walk-ons and have they had any walk-ons in the past? How many players do they carry? You know, what's the walk-on process? Again, if it's a D1 school, it's probably going to be really difficult. If it's a lower level school, if it's a, you know, if it's a D3 school, maybe, maybe they have, they don't have a limit of guys that they can carry in the fall and maybe they take a lot of guys and they'll give you a chance to work out with the team in the fall. Well, then it makes the decision a little bit easier for you. Um, but don't just go into it blindly and just assume like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make the team, you know, without doing any research at all, without talking to the coach or anything. I, I think you're gonna be in for a situation that you're probably not going to like. So let me know if you guys have any more questions. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you're looking into walking on in uh, college, subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there. For you guys to check out, we've got a deal going on play crate. Type in Antonelli on the link below, and you get 50% off your first play crate. Uh, also, we have a link to our Patreon page where you can support the channel. If you guys want any of these hats, I've got my hats right here online. Go to AntonelliBaseball.com. You can grab them there. And that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching, again. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.